What's going on everybody, Dialerix TV back with another video and in today's video we'll be discussing a proposed trade that involves the Los Angeles Lakers trading for Boston Celtics guard Dennis Schroeder. This article was written by Microsoft News Sports and the headline reads, Exploring Three Potential Lakers Trade Scenarios. This article was written by Frank Vincent, Sports Not. He says, The Los Angeles Lakers sit at a pedestrian 16-16 and -16 on the season following an ugly 18-point loss to the Phoenix Suns. While LeBron James continued to play good basketball, fellow star Anthony Davis is sidelined with the sprained MCL. Meanwhile, the likes of Russell Westbrook have not lived up to the expectations for the struggling team. With about a month and a half to go before the February NBA trade deadline, it sure seems that the general manager Rob Palenka is looking to rectify the issues in Southern California. I spoke to LeBron James' agent, Rich Paul, and he said that talks of James leaving in itself is ridiculous and is totally false. LeBron James isn't leaving the Lakers. He's going to be on the Lakers. Sham Sharani of the athletic reported recently the question is how can the lakers get better that's why i've heard they have been active in the trade market the lakers are missing important trade assets in that of future first round picks stemming from recent blockbuster trades however they do have a young asset in taylor horton tucker and other pieces to offer up below we look at three laker trade scenarios so here are the potential trade scenarios lakers add two role players lakers bring back dennis schroeder the lakers would get dennis schroeder the celtics would get kendrick nunn two future first round second picks so if you guys would like to read the full article the link is in the description box now the lakers seem to be like they're in full panic mode and honestly this seems like full-on desperation at this current moment personally i don't think that the lakers should trade for dennis Schroeder, especially how this past offseason transpired with Schroeder not taking that 80 million and fans attacking and clowning him and turning him into a meme they don't understand that these players see everything you know they have feelings as well so i highly doubt that dennis Schroeder would want to be back you know back in that media frenzy toxic atmosphere the lakers have one culture and it's not a team culture it's the lebron james culture the lakers problem run deeper than just inserting dennis Schroeder. i myself didn't think that dennis Schroeder underperformed as bad as the media led fans to believe he did in that first round dennis Schroeder was diving on the floor for the ball he turned the tie and changed the momentum in that sun series but one mistake on the biggest stage especially when you playing alongside lebron james you know you're on a short leash then it's time for you to be traded and it's your fault and it's quite hilarious that rich paul had to address a lebron james trade rumor because as i look at all the sports news platforms i don't see many reports or rumors of lebron james being traded and also one thing you have to take into account is that kendrick perkins he's one of lebron james media puppets he's very close to lebron so that was put out for a reason so truthfully i think this was done to indirectly send a warning shot to the lakers meaning no lebron james is not considering being traded but if y'all don't make something happen by the trade deadline which is why sham sharania mentioned how the lakers are active on the trade market to try to acquire some young talent so rich paul is pretty much speaking in code saying get lebron james some help or we want out pretty much letting them know that if he leaves they'll lose out on a boatload of money and miss out on an opportunity pulling off something big in hollywood that will by far increase their ratings you know but i personally believe lebron james fans should pressure the front office and demand the lakers trade him however this dennis Schroeder trade will backfire instantly I think there are really no valuable options on the trade market at this current time that could put the Lakers right back in contention. I would wait to 2022 and just tell LeBron James to rest and then sign a third star. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm